goal scorers in there. Pope is in there. In it goes. Vincent Company right across his own penalty area. Chadwick. Yes, dear readers, we are living in a time of mass hysteria. The World Cup is happening, so at least here in Britain, the news is filled with football. And never mind that the British government is in chaos and the Brexit negotiations are a fucking shambles, let's focus on men kicking their balls around a field. <laughs> and I know I'm being churlish and silly, but I just wanted to take a moment, just a moment for us readers who care nothing about sports, but are, we, we have to listen to this bombardment of news about it. And I know the same thing is true like when uh, the Super Bowl happens or the World Cup, the, the World Series of Baseball, like whatever it's called, uh, happens. It's like whatever big sporting event in your region of the world uh, occurs, like the news just gets filled with it. And like, I know some readers uh, also enjoy watching sports and, and you know, and that's fine. Like, uh, and like even just last night, I went to see the brilliant, like absolutely wonderful French filmmaker, Agnes Varda, give a talk about like art and documentary making and her whole fascinating history of filmmaking. Uh, but she sort of cut the talk short um, midway through so that she could go watch the France and Belgium game because uh, she was born in Belgium and she she's lived all of her life in France and so she was excited about it and so and it's perfectly understandable that people get caught up in the collective excitement about it but like personally I don't give a flying saucer about it and it's especially annoying because I come back to work after a holiday and what do people do? They assault me at my desk around the tea kettle and ask, did you watch the game? Are you excited to watch the game? Where will you watch the next game? Are you excited about England being in the quarterfinals? What do you think about England's chances are against France? And all I can do is look them square in the face and say, I don't care. And I'm made to feel so guilty. It's an abomination and a blasphemy that I wasn't even aware that England was in the quarterfinals. Like, because even if this information comes in my field of vision because it's in the news so much, like, I just blank it out because I don't care. And I just want to, like, turn around and say to them, what do you think about Camilla Shamsi being awarded the Women's Prize? What do you think about the English Patient being awarded the Golden Man Booker Award? Uh, what book do you think will be picked as the reader's favorite for the PBS Great American Read? Uh, do you think Michael Ndachi might be awarded the main Booker Prize this year for his new novel? Can you imagine the looks I would get in return? Because I can't be expected for people to be as interested in book prizes as they are in sports competitions, that would just be silly. And I just started wondering, why is that? And I also started to speculate and fantasize about what it would be like if a book prize, uh, like the Women's Prize for Fiction, or the Booker Prize, or the Pulitzer Prize for Fiction, were as headline-worthy as these sporting events. Can you imagine? Because maybe we do need to escape, and we do need to feel some sort of collective sense of national identity and pride in times of political strife. But why can't that be around book prizes? Like if 90 or even 80% of the population were gathered together talking about books when a book prize was happening, it would be so amazing. All those people reading and discussing books, all those people buying books instead of the team branded horns or noisemakers or whatever sports paraphernalia that like people buy to celebrate their teams. Imagine if there were fantasy book teams like those like geeky sports fans make fantasy football tournaments so you could fill a team with like literature's most prominent characters like Heathcliff and Mr. Rochester and Mr. Darcy and Leopold Bloom and Miss Havisham. But of course it'll never happen. 
And the funny thing is, is when I was a teenager, I really resented sports competitions like I do now. And because I really couldn't understand why people cared about it as much as they did. And it wasn't until I started following book prizes that I could really connect with that fervor. Like, yes, I can understand why there's this collective excitement of getting around a competition where there's a winner at the end. It allows us to feel united and have something to talk about in the long, tedious interim before we die. <laughs> and I'm grateful for sports competitions, for ha giving a venue, for to get out all that like aggression and competitive spirits, like especially that like male like testosterone in that to want to compete uh, rather than to go out into a battlefield and fight wars and kill each other because they have nothing better to do. And part of me thinks that maybe we as readers are glad that there's only a limited interest in reading and book competitions because there is an elitism to having uh, read certain things and knowing about certain books that like other people haven't read. And though I'm being sassy here, I don't think I'm better or smarter than sports fans. It's a specialty knowledge that I don't know about. Like I couldn't say more than two sentences about the World Cup, uh, but it's something that I just don't care about. <laughs> and I get even more annoyed in a way that being gay and following some gay people on social media, I'll occasionally see posts like, I didn't care about sports until I saw this, and they post a picture of some bare-chested footballer who's pulled his shirt over his head because he's excited that he's kicked a ball into a goal. Really, are we that thirsty? Surely we are better than this. So that's my little rant. I hope at least some of you feel the same way that I do. I won't be watching the World Cup tonight to see if England make it into the semi-finals or finals or whatever it is, but I won't be reading either. I will be watching the lovely pop singer Sigrid giving a concert because I get excited about silly things as well, just not sports competitions.